Do you ever feel that you are just like a magnet for some of the biggest jerks on planet Earth? It just seems like no matter what you do or where you go, you just seem to attract assholes. And believe it or not, there are a few scientific reasons why it is that you might be drawn to these types of men. And once you understand these reasons, hopefully you can use this information to avoid these men like the plague. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Ladolce from lovestrategies.com where I help successful single women get out there and attract long lasting love. And if you enjoy videos just like this, don't forget to give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow wherever it is that you're watching this video on Instagram, YouTube, wherever. We have a lot of cool content coming your way. Now, in order to understand these three concepts, we just need to take a step back and just remember that we are all just a bunch of dumb animals. Our biology, our brain chemistry can sometimes lead us astray and make us attracted to things that might not necessarily be good for us. And these three things that you might be drawn to in men might be the very reason why it is that they are jerks. The first thing that you might be attracted to subconsciously or consciously is pride. Now in 2011, University of British Columbia study revealed something very interesting. Women are most attracted to prideful men. The experiment had women looking at pictures of men and having looked at literally hundreds of different pictures of different facial expressions, whether it's happiness, shame, pride, you name it, the expressions were there. For women evaluating men, they found that the most appealing expression was of pride. And look, pride inherently isn't a bad thing until it goes overboard. And overboard usually means he's an egomaniac. The second thing that women tend to be drawn to that can sometimes make men jerks is social status. Now, social status takes into account a lot of different variables, whether it's the man in the room who is wearing the nicest suit or the man who is running a conference or maybe the professor at college, whatever it is, social status is when someone has a higher perceived value than others. Now again, social status isn't inherently bad and usually high value men have a high social status, but some guys will try to exert their dominance and go overboard in order to get some of those social status brownie points from women. And by the way, sometimes that works. Just imagine that guy in conversation at a party who is talking all over people, who is the loudest person at the party, who is truly dominating every conversation, that guy is borderline a jerk or high social status, probably leaning towards the jerk. And the final scientific reason why it is that you might be attracting jerks is due to this well-known scientific phenomenon called pre-selection. Basically, you are going to be more attracted to a man who is talking to other attractive women. So let me paint this picture to you. You walk into a room, there's a ton of different people there, but you see a shorter man, let's say he's 5'8", a little bit overweight, not even that well dressed, but he's surrounded by three beautiful women who all seem to absolutely love this guy. Normally, if you looked at this guy, you wouldn't even bat an eye at him. You wouldn't even give him a moment of thought. But the very fact that he's talking to the three most attractive women in the room will make you actually think that he is more attractive than he might really be. And this psychological phenomenon has also been studied in apes and other animals as well. And it's called pre-selection because you assume that if a man is able to talk to those women, then of course he must have some type of value, whether it's social status or something else. Now again, this isn't inherently bad, except for the fact that you might be drawn to men who are by nature very flirtatious and able to talk to lots of other women. So just be careful. So with all that said, now that you're aware of some of these blind spots that you might have when you're going out and meeting men, now you can be just a little bit more intentional about your love life. And if you'd like a little bit more support and you'd like to jump on a call with one of my professional love strategists who will dive deep into your love life and see whether or not we can help, then make sure you head on over to loveapply.com or apply right there below to speak to one of my love strategists. This is where we can see whether or not you're fit for my coaching program called Love Accelerator, where we teach you what we call the seven little love steps to attracting long lasting love. These are the types of conversations that we have in this coaching program. And we'd love to speak to you if you think that you're a fit or if we think you're a fit. So thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady next week. Bye-bye.